man, what is up with these cryptic titles to help somebody someday? Like, okay. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius with Black Clover, episode 33. Last episode, we had, we ended off with Sister Teresa and Asta fighting Sally and the Mud Monster. That's his new official name. And Gauche left with Marie to save her because he's being a prick. But I'm curious what's going to happen. I have a clue as to what's going to happen. It's actually due, it's actually based off the opening. So no spoilers, but we'll see if my guess is right. So typical plugs going out don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter twitch at dapper darius if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to follow me on patreon if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching don't forget to subscribe and join the dapper squad and hit that bell like always let's hop into this black clover episode 33 <laughs> Yeah, get as many as you can on. That would be really cool. I want to know the name of that spell. <laughs> Her nickname is the She Leopard. Technically, it's it's Baro's magic that is spewing out of him. So shouldn't Asa be able to kill him relatively easy? Unlike the Salamander who was like avoiding Asa's sword. So what happens to the mud once it's been cut off? I was hoping it would like evaporate. So he can easily destroy him. It's just he regrows re almost instantly because he's just overloaded with magic. Nice, Sister Teresa. Interesting, I didn't know that. Okay. She might have more or less of a mana output than you, but she knows how to use that mana way better than you. Uh-oh, have a little confliction with yourself. Interesting. They were nobles. So it seems like they were really taken advantage of, yeah, and just straight up murdered. So then they were exiled from their nobility, forced out onto the streets. Yeah, it's a, it's not a typical story, but it's a very common story. Brother and sister, siblings being out in the street, the older one going to steal, do whatever you can. Making a lot more sense now. He did not go willingly. He fought back, it looks like. I had to whoop his ass a little bit and put him in there. He needed that punch. It's obviously due to a complicated backstory, you know? Why he feels like that, but he definitely needs that. Like, come on. He's still wearing Asta's Black Bull's robe. And that's gonna make him feel very similar to Gauch and Asta, relate to them. They could really use some mirror help right now, right? Come on. <sighs> Your brother's so cool! Alright, he hasn't fully won me over, but... I definitely understand his reasonings a little more, obviously. Asta this, Asta that. 
That's something that's been ingrained to him since he's been on his own for the entire time, him and his sister, but he's going to be shocked. They will really lay their lives down for other people. They are just different. Not even a chance. He is not joking about that. <laughs> Whoa there, big dog. Damn, I cannot wait to see Yami fight. It does disappear with a certain amount of damage. I was right. You think Asa's gonna let you die? You just saved him. He never owes anyone. <laughs> so that's when he was escaping as a convict. They sent Yami after him. Or Yami may have just ran across him. And he's like, instead of doing this, if you're gonna do it, do it the right way. Join the squad. Someday, that'll help somebody out. Oh, the titles, man. They're hella cryptic, but they always fit in. I like it. I like that. That's cool. So his love for Marie is definitely going to inspire him to fight more to save these people. It'll help somebody out one day. I like that. The Mirror Sword. A mirror sword. Got my attention. You got me sitting up and shit. That was dope. Nice little mirror slash. It's regrowing though, like I assumed it would. Yep. Blow it all up. Megamine would be very handy right now. <laughs> He never tested this out. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm curious as to what's going to happen now. He was able to create a spell fundamentally similar, yet completely different, and engraved a new page in his grimoire. Damn it. I've been hiding this, but I'll have to use it now. This is his trump card. And with his new spell... The magic accumulated in the mirror magic item. It's a mirror magic item to activate. So he's accumulated magic in his mirror ma oh. mirror br mirage brigade, and with the mirage, all the clones. Oh my god! I love the cuts of like the nine different Ostas. Mirror slash with the mirage brigade. Mada, mada, Well, my prediction at the beginning of the show, how I thought this fight was gonna end, was completely wrong. Even Galish is fucking yelling too. They subverted my expectations. Hell yeah. I'm saying that was a dope spell. Oh my god, he's dead, dead. Now we're going to get the backstory of these siblings. Yep, while she's on the ground, make an icicle fall on her throat. True. I could see genuine regret. That's a lot of... There's a lot of responsibility you're going to be taking. I like that from Masa. That's all really ne Neji, Nehi wanted. Which, I said it last episode of the episode before, or two episodes, three episodes ago. Sally's, uh, William. 
Sally's leader, the leader of the Eye of the Midnight Sun. We know this magic user is lightningly fast. There's no way. Nah, it's a wrap. Give me your name, pussy. I need to know who I'm beating up. Leaked. Licked. Liked. Licked. Ooh. Ooh. With the golden sun around it, the golden dawn, I don't know, but licked. Lick the fuck off. Granny better be okay. That was looking like your typical shonen, everything works out fucking ending. I was so happy, especially with the Naiji. I, I see so many names in the show are very hard to pronounce, I won't lie. But I'm just going to call him Naiji for now. Um, I like the very, very minute backstory we got on him. But like I said a few episodes ago, he didn't seem like someone who was outright evil. Like He seemed like someone who was looking for a friend and a little mentally challenged. Just someone who isn't in the right mind state you know to be able to do something like this but for him to have the certain resolve to he was like i loved my brother but i was so foolish for just going along with anything he said because his brother was obviously the domineering type but he said he was willing to take responsibility for both of them which i very much appreciate and then asa was like let's be friends after that which i also very much appreciate um asa is such an open and cool dude you know like it reminds me of, i know you guys are gonna hate that i say it but naruto because naruto Talk no jutsu is a real thing. I've seen I've seen videos of police officers and firemen who are able to talk people down from ledges, talk people down with guns. You know, it takes it takes just a connection that people have not had. You know, like everything. You know, it's just, it's not, that's a whole different topic for a different video. I'm just saying I really like when characters are able to use their words, especially in an action anime, to be able to convince somebody of something. But uh fucking marie and gaoshi's backstory is pretty tragic like their parents were looking for investors or just help with their business they were already very rich they were nobilities and then they just ended up taking advantage of them i'm guessing they made it sure that they had an accident jesus and then their will really said oh yeah they're leaving it all to us it's just fucking bullshit but i completely understand why they would be stuck out in the streets and why gaosh would be Gosh would be forced to turn into the way he was and you know come up with this like the only one i can rely on is my sister my sister's i can the only one she can rely on too it's very much there's a lot of stories like that in in the world and in shows like that if, if you guys know star wars the clone wars um rafa and trace it, literally this exact scenario you know no parents forced to rely on each other very distrustful of other people you know for a good cause but licked liked licked looped whatever your fucking name is bro Ooh, you're lucky i'm not in the show i would have smacked you do not touch yeah Ooh. yeah no i have a granny sister Teresa, sister old lady better be okay that's all i'm saying better not die that's all i'm saying i will flip shit if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. As always, I will catch you guys soon. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. Um, follow me on Patreon if you guys want early access full length. And then follow me on all my, all my socials at Dapper Darius. Thank you, guys. Peace out.